Lilith Dubey has captivated audiences uh, on on stages and screens across the world. Her body of work is incomparable. She's joining us today to tell us some of those stories and it's a wonderful and very exciting episode. Lilith, thank you for coming on this episode of Unscripted with Akash Kumar. I'm very, very happy to be here. Uh, we are happier, I promise. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's a big deal for us. Uh, really? How yes. sweet. So, you know, broadly we are aware that, you know, you 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 came from Delhi and, and that's where you started and you started with Mr. Barry John. Yes. But how did it really begin? And like at what age? And I know that the family doesn't really have a, a, a performing arts background barring your sister. Now, uh, yes, yes. Who is elder or younger? Younger. 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 So, so you're the pioneer. Yeah. In As the, my grandkids say, I'm the boss. I'm the nanny boss. You, you clearly are. <laughs> you clearly are. But so how, how and when did it begin? So very quickly, yes. true, my, my family is a highly professional family. Uh, my father was an engineer, his passion, and as he told his as he told my mother when he got married and his mistress was physics so nice. he was okay. he was uh, very much in love with physics and the theory of relativity and that was his wow. passion okay. so you can understand the kind of and he was a what i call a renaissance man he was okay. very erudite and interested in you know that generation had a kind of intellectual curiosity about everything right. everything right. it didn't matter what uh, I remember I read Arundhati's book, The God of Small Things. I read it, I was blown by the book and I knew Arundhati as well. And I said, you know, what a marvelous book. So he said, what is so great about it? Right. If you had to tell me in a few sentences. So I tried to explain to him it was the way she deconstructed the language, etc., etc., etc. So he said, okay, leave the book here. I'll just flip through it. You know, I want to see why, why she got a book yes, for it. Yes. So I'm just giving you an example uh, beginning with my name, by the way, because everyone is always flummoxed with yeah, the names that all yes. three of us have, not just me. I'm called Lilette. My sister's called Illusion. My brother's called Patanjali. Oh. So Lilette was, because he was a very East, eclectic man, he said, my, my, my wife's name is Leela. She has a daughter. The diminutive in French is Et. Et yes. So she'll be Lilette. So nice. every French speaking person always calls me Lilette. Then he called Lucien because he said, uh, Khrushchev had presented a plane to Nehru, Jawaharlal Nehru, okay. which was called Illusion One. It was the oh. name of a female Russian name and the name of a um, aircraft. Wow. And dad said, what a beautiful feminine name. If I have a daughter, I shall call her Illusion. He was reading the Yoga Shastra when my brother was born, Patanjali. So she's Illusion. Illusion. Oh, I-L-Y-U-S-H-I-N. Now it's L-U-S-H-I-N. Or does now she use she's the I? abbreviated okay. to Illusion. Okay. Because okay. when we were in school, yeah. I was ragged mercilessly because there were tampons called Lilettes. Okay. Oh. When she went to school, everyone said, oh, although she's quite beautiful, very beautiful. What do you think you are? You're an illusion. You keep, keep calling yourself illusion, illusion. She was so angry. She made us name Ill wow. illusion. My brother, everyone said, kya ladki ka naam hai? Gitanjali, Patanjali, because they didn't know he'd written the Yoga Shastra, obviously. None of us, we were very displeased with the father. All he had to say was, has anyone else got this name? We said no. This so he is, said, I rest my case. This you're is all a, unique. A good argument. Yeah, unique. So, so you're, you all have unique names. My mother's side, my grandfather was the first FRCP from Edinburgh in the 30s. A colonel and doctor in the army, finally. My mother was a, a, a doctor, um, also from Lady Harding. Her sister's a doctor. My chacha set up the medical institute, wow. studied at Mayo. So, I mean, there was nobody with, I'm not saying they didn't have a leaning. My father could quote Shakespeare, Akash, better than you and me. Right. Okay. Right. He was very well read. So his whole thing was, why are you doing literature? Are you crazy? Nobody studies literature. You just read it. You read it, yeah. And you're wasting your time doing a master's in it. Then I did a second master's in mass comm. So I was just studying basically to, you know, he said, at least do two masters if you want to be barely educated. Right, right. This is... Otherwise, you are an illiterate. So, that's the kind of background. Though I must say, the funniest thing. Many moons later, decades after I'd started theatre, you know, he came to some performance. And somebody was telling me that, you know, I was very good or something. And he said, you know who she's got it from? So, he, she, even I looked startled. I said, who? So, he said, when I was in Lahore Engineering College, I always played the hero in every play that I did. And I said, you tell you me now know? in my 50s oh, wow. that you did this? Right. He said, yes, I did. So, maybe some... 
yeah, traveling a... gene landed up in me uh, because I was I was doing crazy things uh, from when I was a nine or ten. You know, I was doing shows on the terrace of my house. Then in school, of course. But honestly speaking, not just my father, but even I myself, at that time in the seventies, there was no really no space for any kind of real. theater in the right. sense of even very good actors i mean see over a decade older than me were the kabirs and a little older roshan seth and all these guys right and these people are all delhi all delhi right. all delhi and Since parents Stephens. were also in delhi for the most part is that yes my you... father was in government he was in the railways so he was, so he was traveling yes, so it yes. was a lot of convent schools right. here there here there and all finally Settled after in. i was six i i had a stint in delhi when i was young then when i join college in lady shriram so when i was there to be fair to my father he said after my ba he said look if you really want to do theater because by which time i i had done theater in school in right. st mary's and, and then i came to lsr yes. and lsr i just like plunged into theater yeah no they are quite encouraging because the, yeah, they didn't so. do that much but i was doing a lot of work with st stephen's college st stephen's okay, was nice. coed yes It had a very strange trajectory. I remember I met Kamini Koshal, and she said I went to Stephens. So, she, meaning in those days she went to Stephens. Then it became non-coed uh, at the period that I was there. Then But I met Kunkana many years later. They had a theater group that or a kind of. They had the Shake Sock, which was brilliant. Ah, right. They did Shakespeare okay, plays. The they did right. Pinter. Yes, yes. They did everything. They did lots of plays. Hmm. I mean, they were hugely active, and they had no girls. So so, it, so right. I was constantly there you know I was a honorary Stephanian they had right. dubbed me an honorary Stephanian and I did a lot of work which is where um, Barry also started doing a lot of work there and before that I must have been all of 17 I, had, I was still in first year college there was a um, there was a um, audition for a play okay Yatrik was this one theater group which was fairly semi professional as professional as it could, could get okay. with joy good good old joy michael bless her these were the really that that those old troopers were truly purely completely in love with theater right you know from baska bhattacharya to this one that one there were lots and lots of people so um in fact all these guys were part of yatrik only even uh, even um, kabir uh, 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 i don't know about kabir but certainly roshan and a lot of people who Who, that was the most active. This is not the time when Mr. Al Kazi was around. That was that. Yes, but Al Kazi Sahab was in NSD. Okay, course, yes. This was a huge so, contribution, right? You know, to the. I mean, I think if you had to choose uh, top five or six, not writers, but people who actually contributed to to the burgeoning and the, and the genesis of theatre in India, I would say it was Al Kazi yeah, Sahab sure. with mm. the with the NSD, but with the quality of the work he did. Right. You know, I think for me that I didn't train with him. Okay. Okay. So I don't know. But setting up an institute and set giving it that kind of status and right. saying you know theatre is important. We need theatre for the you know for uh, the completion of our cultural scene. There is something terribly missing if there is no cult, no theatre. Having said that, of course, there is a lot of folk theatre in this country. Yes, you know, yes. Meta is yeah. throwing it all up now. Which has actually been my place for exposure. Actually, Meta yeah, was where yeah, I uh, yeah. actually and saw all of that. And I bless Ravi because Ravi, I met Ravi through theatre. Okay, uh, I mean, I met him before that, but we spent a lot of time together doing theatre, and that was he was an actor as well. Yes, yes, okay. he was in Stephens. He did a lot of acting. Oh, I didn't know he was. Also, yes, okay. yes, he loved theatre. I mean, right. cricket was his god, right. uh, and he was superb at it. He could have gone that way and been. a professional cricketer ravi was another of those rock stars he was like never came second from nursery to ma final nice. disgusting absolutely <laughs> and and he was captain of his cricket team vice captain of his football team captain of debating team uh, so you met uh, you you met your husband in stephens no i met him before that right. through a common uh, through one of my cousins my most one of my closest friends so she knew him from school okay and he was quite the sort of the rock star, the rock star of school yes. in columbus and she was in cgm so they were good friends and that's how i met him ravi's story is another long yes, story which will come in my memoir meta. soon yes i i But believe you're writing one because harper and collins yes. bless their soul i, I had a later note me, about your memoir yeah. but uh, so we'll so, come back yeah, to that so. but uh, what i was talking about meta yes, meta, meta yes. is a very important 
important thing that he did. And he was instrumental in starting it. Yeah, because so. he said, you know, there are no awards for theatre. There's no recognition. There's no sense of a fraternity. Yes. Uh, we need to do something. So it was a 15-minute cell. He went to Anand Mahendra and he spoke to him for like maybe 10 or 15 minutes. And he said, you know, I think we need some awards for theatre. We need to recognise, you know, theatre. We need to recognise theatre from all across the all the, uh, across the country, etc., etc. Yes, yes. et et and I must say, he was convinced by Ravi. I am, I'm telling you, I was shocked. Ravi went for this short meeting and came back and said, you know, Anand that's said yes. Wow. So that's how it started. And I think it was, for me, this time when I went to Meta, I... You know, the first thing I felt was when I went there, it was just like a, it was such a wonder feeling. You have a bit of it in Prithvi. And when I walked in there, there was this one, that one, yes. you know, so many people, old timers, young blood, young Turks, all around. It's a fabulous feeling. It For is, me, that's the is. first thing, a sense of community, it fraternity. Is. It is. And then you are seeing work who, which, which you could never possibly see. Never. A, it is impossible to traverse this huge country. Absolutely. Yeah. And for me, it, you know, in this, in these divisive times, it is such a wonderful thing to see theatre where you don't understand the language, where yes. we are so different from each other, but it's such a uniting force. I think it's especially, especially, especially important in this day and age to see plays from across the country and say, wow, what a country. How have we managed to, look, like, you know, uh, thrive and flourish together like this for centuries when we're in, in so many ways so different? I mean, you travel through Europe, you don't feel like that, you right. know, Akash. You yeah. don't feel going from France to England, okay, the language is different, but the subculture is the same. Here, you go to Kashmir, where yes. I shot, and then I went and performed in Tamil Nadu. I mean, they're two it's different worlds. Different, yeah. Forget about the physical appearance. They're no, in fact, I, I've been at Meta a couple of times uh, and, and uh, there were a couple of things that stuck out to me right away. And one, of course, was that the exposure that it was giving to people like, you know, from Bombay, we were showing yes. up and, you know, we had heard names like Baharul Islam and, you know, all of that, but never seen their work. Ratan and then when, and, comes over here. Yeah, and when we saw it, I mean, I'm a, I, you know, I, I was blown away. There was yes. stuff that I, I was actually inspired to you know, take stuff from that and do it in my exactly. work. Exactly. And, and I think so the most beautiful thing about those plays that come from there are that they have so little money. Yes. So little money. I mean, it's very little money. No, it's uh, the imagination. Yes, the craft is, they has to be it. much. Yes, absolutely. You know how they use their own imagination, their own creativity to do some fabulous things. Fabulous. Right. Right. Makes you almost feel small that, you know, you have the resources and you are here amplifying things because... At, at one level, of course, we all do it. We have to sell our plays. But at some level, I'm a believer of the Peter Brooks philosophy. Right. Which is less is less and less and less is more. Right. You know, it, it, to him, what he talks about always is that your work should work with just one actor, yes. one light and the audience. That's right. all you need in theatre. The rest is, he doesn't say it, is all packaging. Yeah, no, you know, this is interesting. I started with Thespo. Yeah. And, I, uh, you know, uh, the first year of Thespo, we got very lucky and we did very well. And then I got really ambitious. And I did, uh, us, the second play I did was uh, very ambitious and too many bells and whistles. And I tried to rely on too much stuff like, you know, projections and yeah, yeah. all of that. And, and You also uh, feel compelled. You, you feel like, you know, I wanted to get bigger and, like, yeah, and, 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 yeah. and Nasir uh, came and saw the play. And uh, my play was a disaster. We were technically booed off stage. Mm. And uh, I think 60% uh, of the audience left. But one man who stayed till the end was Nasir. Mm. And uh, he was waiting and I was devastated. And I was even more devastated that he sat and watched all of it. <laughs> and then he came backstage and he just said, Ke, ghar aao tum kal. Mm. Oh, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and then when I went, he said nothing to me, but handed me a book called Towards a Poor Theatre by Grotowski. And I was like, this is the worst reprimand I've got. But when I read it, it yeah. just opened up my mind because I was like, yes, you've got you've got to fall back on the things that you can totally rely on. In his so, book, The Empty Space, also, right. that's all it's about. Yes. You know, it's just you should be able to whittle your thing down to me talking. I'm the instrument. Yes. I'm everything. Absolutely. And uh, and uh, the light. 
okay? Because you have to see me yeah. for no other reason, yeah. and I need the audience. Otherwise, it is incomplete the shared experience. Yeah, sound and okay. light, like another Dubey used to say, Pandit Satyadev. Yeah, yeah that's like, all it is. Be heard and be seen. I have to tell seen. you the cutest so, story about Satyadev. You must. Yeah. Okay, when I so, came here, I had never worked with him. He was a guru to you know yes, all of yes. you. So right. Dubey ji, he was very cute. He used to come and watch the plays and yes. you know all that kind of thing. And when I came, everyone asked me that. आप सत्यदेव दुबे जी की कोई भतीजी हैं ये हैं वो हैं यू नो ट्राइंग टू फाइंड अ कनेक्शन सो आई सेड नहीं सैडली मैं नहीं हूँ सो एनी वे एंड देन यूज टू कम एंड यूज टू बी ऑफ यू नो हाउ ब्लंट ही वॉज एंड ऑल दैट आई डोंट रिमेंबर मेनी टाइम्स वेन ही सेड एनी थिंग बट ही केम टू सी अ प्ले ऑफ माइंड कॉल वुमन डी वॉइस विच वॉज थ्री थ्री वेमेन्स वॉइस स्टोरीज विच आई हैड ड्रामेटाइज एंड ऑल दैट and i was super touched because he came and he only told me one thing he said tumhara ye play dekh ke main bahut mujhe jealous ho gaya i nice. said kyun <laughs> he said mujhe laga ki ye play mujhe karna chahiye tha nice. so i said itab isse Highest bada compliment place. kya yeah, mujhe so. mil sakta hai thank you and all that then the most adorable thing was towards the end he came once to prithvi to see a play and he said you know pehle jab tum aayi thi sab log mujhse puchte the ki ye lilai dubey kon hai aapki koi rishtedar hai अब सब बोलते हैं कि आप क्या लिले दुबे के रिश्तेदार हैं सो आई सेट ऐसा तो कभी नहीं हो सकता <laughs> आपकी जगह थोड़ी कभी भी मैं पहुंच सकती हूँ सो बट ही वॉज सो काइंड इन हिज ओन वे यू नो वेरी स्वीट एंड वेरी वॉट आई लव्ड अबाउट हिम इज यू नो दैट ब्रीड इज डाइंग आकर्ष वे दे लव थिएटर यू नो विथ एवरी एवरी सोट ऑफ सेल इन देर बॉडी and yeah. he was like that he that was, i could yeah. smell and sense that that man just loved theater because yeah. the way he would come discuss always there i mean his life was that was prithvi and the theater yes, absolutely so you know that breed is dying it will go out with this generation i it's think true, it it's true it's unfortunate gone. but it's true it no is, that kind of madness yeah. junoon nasha yeah. is not there and i'm not saying it's good or bad it's just one of those things that has changed the, along with time and yes yeah and, and there's so many other uh, outlets you know, and i priorities mean there's practicality and, yes. so uh, the, moving on to the next phase which is your company prime time yes yes, uh, yes. was that made in delhi or was it after oh, you very, had moved very very much okay, in okay. delhi so and after was that because tag had dissolved by then no or? no not for that so, akash it was because um Well one is I was getting the feeling that I wanted to also try my hand at directing number Which one Which you did not do with Tag at all No okay, no Tag okay. I was sorry yes, but I was but really diva The diva yeah I was so. totally diva right, okay right. Uh, when so And I you wouldn't have been able to direct under that No I suppose I could have But you but wanted I, to do your own stuff There were two more reasons why I wanted to set up right. a company One was much as I loved doing all the work that I had done in terms of you know the material the yes. content I I started getting a itch that I wanted to uh work with Indian material. Yes, that's actually one of the big points I had yes. about yeah, so Indian material written over here, you know, find our own voice in Indian English theater. Right, right. And and that was a real calling. I mean, I I felt a real deep need to do that. Much as I'd loved everything and I'm I'm so glad I did for 15 years with Barry John. Yes. He put me through my paces. Uh and it was a wonderful grounding So one of the reasons was this the Indian exploration yes. of Indian voices Indian the Indian voice the other was I was then very keen to take this work abroad you know to see what could I do with I mean how do people react to work from here uh, we had always had an influx the other way yeah so the content Western, would need to be yeah, locally yeah, yeah, grown yeah, yeah. to kind of yeah, yeah. and the and truth be told even even good adaptations of of western or non indian work are wonderful but they're not very interested in it right. unless it's a real interesting take on take it. on yes, you know absolutely. shakespeare yeah. or something ya yeah, koi uh, uh, in a country like germany or some other country you know you're doing their their playwrights and you give it a indian hindi it, kind yes. of take on it then they might be interested But they're not interested in the regular plays that they are doing, and you sit and do the same thing. Anyway, it didn't excite me either, and I wanted to try my hand at this. Directing, right? Okay, directing, yeah. doing Indian stuff, etc., etc. So I found a very lovely lady called Sita Raina, who's a wonderful actress, who had just moved from Calcutta to Delhi. She just got married, and uh, and she was very game and keen also to set up a company. So you started it with yes, someone. Yes, yes, Sita okay. Raina. And she's Sita still Raina. a part. No, she's not a part okay. of it. And our first play uh, was not an Indian play because you know we said first let's just 
so we were known as two actresses basically so, you know yeah, me right. very well from delhi she very well from calcutta so she she and i started a company and we started a play we did a play called uh, we did a play called blight spirit a very right. well known noel coward play yes. we chose something very safe uh, in which both of us acted and you did it in its original form it was not an adaptation absolutely right. original okay. and we had divya seth in it who was wonderful and two of us and and, and a wonderful actor called uh, sanjeev aluwalia who and this is the first one you directed the first, first one play you directed, directed. Yeah. okay well wow. and she sort of directed with me also and uh, then slowly she took on more the role of a producer, producer. and i started doing because you know it was easier that way and she was very good at what she did so we started with that and a uh, second one also a romantic comedy i think it was both these were fairly we're talking about this is 91 94 one, i 91, set up the company 91, right. so 91 and we were very active in the first Th- then we did a festival actually uh, one of the first things we did was actually a festival i don't know if blight came first or the festival maybe the festival was first just to establish the company and we called nadira and we called uh, bosses play what was that congo something um, are they tigers, are they tigers in, the in the congo, congo? i think it the, that was i think rage did that rage. and it was I called perhaps rage. their first I called, or something i called i so, called yeah. nadira and i called um, three plays we called uh, from bombay and we did those as a showcase that you know just to say okay this company is taking off and Existing, all that kind yeah, of thing so. then we did blight spirit and then we did another play romantic comedy which was also a very safe choice sure. uh, again in which i acted we sure. were trying to do plays also where we acted so that you know they would come for us right, and then see right. the production and then you would set up the yeah then we did a play then we went half what i call halfway house we went to a play called prisoner of malabar hill which is what this jew uh, you know this the one that uh, shani is doing shanaz is doing oh sidhus of upper juhu yes yes, yes. It's the same the prisoner second of second avenue, avenue. Yes, yes, yes 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 so we took that and we completely adopt adapted it and did it based in bombay nice a corporate okay. guy so there was amar talwar famous from shanti me and a guy called tejeshwar singh he used to be very famous for doing the news on 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 doordarshan and uh, sita was also in it and this and that and everything that was half way house what i call half way house testing the waters yeah see so the yeah. adaptation so we said it. let's see how and yeah. it did fantastically well i can imagine yeah. it was just packed every night and we took the play here we took the play there and that's when the travel also started we started with the second one a little bit called to calcutta because she knew people there somebody called her somewhere else two three places then we went a little much better with malabar hill we started going because the relatability increases, increases certainly increases, that's something increases. we yeah so i said this is the way to go yes it is we have yes. to go this way so we did a couple of these adaptation ones and then boom i went to i said i want an indian play now at that time in early 90s you couldn't lay your hand on anything there was no internet no mobile no nothing no nothing sounds ancient yes, yes. but that's how it was it was yeah and so i went to seagull you know but seagull was in calcutta, calcutta yeah. so there was talking faxing this thing that thing by mail speed post scripts coming i read like some 30 40 scripts i said no not found the one i want to start with blah 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 then mahesh elkunch i got in touch with and he said talk to this guy called mahesh datani he's writing some very interesting plays nice so i called him but i had to go i had to meet him so i flew all the way to bangalore see what was beautiful about this path for me was it, you know it will be a minuscule part of our theater history now right because it's important what happened yes if we if i just continue to do the breaks and the this thing yes, and the back hits yes. of course good productions would have gone down in history i'm not saying that but i wanted to make a little mark there so but dance which, like a man was the first so indian so dance was that first purely indian, indian play. play i went right, there and and there was a big tussle because uh, um, sita wanted to do where there's a will because it was highly populist uh it was a very popular sort of theme and it was funny and it was a comedy and i said no dance speaks to me and i want to do dance she said, who's interested in a story about two over the hill bharatnatyam dancers yeah nobody is interested please don't do it so we went back and forth back and forth i said darling i'm directing so i have to do something that speaks to me yeah and this speaks to me she was kind enough and said okay chal you do it then so we did it and that opening night was a real opening night akarsh because it was the first time we were doing a purely indian play which no one this, had ever heard of this was in of. delhi this was in kamani delhi kamani okay. Okay. and we went full hog right you know i mean spend money on getting the best karnataka vocalist till today he's one of the top vocalists os arun who only sings for like 
Alar Merwali and you know people like that but Love of Me and Sita he sang for us we got um, Rohit uh, uh, Khosla who was Rohit Bal's granddaddy as a designer to come wow. and design the costumes you know we we did that we went that way we got Pradeep Sarkar wow. to do our sets we never short changed even yeah. if we had to dig out our own money we said if it's our play it's got to have that standard and who was the original cast so there was uh, me and joy who was still the old oh, joy was okay, okay siddharth yeah. basu okay and a girl called shivani bazir who was a trained odissi dancer also nice. an actress nice so so when we did the play uh, in kamani we were very nervous because you know uh, mahesh had written the play 13 years before right. and it never got anyone to do it right he did two shows in in uh, bangalore with his own theatre company playpen and he got it here and in fact alex saw it and 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 said you know he, he this guy is writing really well and all that but nobody picked it up and 12 years it lay on his shelf wow and then i got it and we did it and i still remember we had amjad bhai in the audience we had lots of you know there is very culturati yes, if you know what yes, i mean absolutely. so there were all kinds of people craft people this people that people and all that so since i'd grown up and they'd seen my work they were very keen to see, to see what, what this play done. was yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, it was not even house full i remember the opening night was like 70% full because nobody knew what this animal was you know who what who's mahesh dadani what is this play before that i am doing noel coward yes. i am doing you know neil simon all tried and tested the first excitement i realized an adrenal rush is to do something that is completely new you fall or you stand but the excitement is unmatchable wow. there you take a play you kiya hua hai 3000 yeah, shows yeah, yeah. No, no, i no, mean no. if you're is... a decent director and you have decent actors you can't screw it up unless you're really bad here no it's all absolutely fresh material so we got the standing ovation Amjad Bhai I'll never forget came with tears in his eyes because I had dancer friends who came you know this and that they knew it was about dance and he just hugged me and he said you know aisa play kabhi nahi dekha because it was about them yes. it was about being an artist Absolutely. it was about their own rivalries it was about so many things from their world yes their world and i don't say it's anywhere near a perfect play or anything great i often wonder we have as i speak on sunday performed our 670th show of dance like a man at kga wow. this karnataka for a golfers uh, you know sort of wow. crowd uh, and got a 3 minute ovation so there's something in the play i have no idea what it is is that now your longest running play yes, it, it is, is okay. definitely the longest running indian english play oh wow yeah i don't know anyone who's crossed 670 shows do you Indian English probably not. With an Indian original not, no, English no, play, no, no, I would, yeah, no, 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 nobody has. Two hundred, three hundred, that. Yeah, no, no because I mean, I know that regional and Hindi theatre kind of. Oh, those and those, yeah, thousands. So thousands, but no. I this mean, is, when I, I tell a Marathi quite, actor yeah, or they, director, they, they, yeah, they, yeah, <laughs> yeah, very yeah. indulgent. Yeah, correct. Good, good, good going yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. this is nothing for them. So anyway, that was the first, and then we, you know, sort of plucked up our courage and said, "Ho sakta hai." Right. You know, aisa ho sakta hai. So that's how we started, and dance has travelled five continents. I mean, wow. we've played from New Zealand to Auckland to Portland, USA to Harare. I don't know many people who performed in Harare or a Penang or you know things. And like this that. is uh, so. Actually, I had a question also because I mean, I, you know, uh, one thing that we kind of also grew up uh, seeing and perhaps envying was the amount of travel you used to do. with prime time Still and there was, and a lot of uh, uh, international uh, you yeah. know travel which is but just hard of, work after I I can understand that but it was just I had know, to open sh- every one of those windows yeah so I was I was like like you know what uh, what was the secret to that how were you nothing like, determination I was determined that I am going to take this work across and I can't tell you how 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 fulfilling and satisfying it's been to have people and let me tell you I wasn't interested in the NRI circuit yeah I that was going to ask bonus. that I was going to ask that yeah. but the but the audiences uh, you know foreign well, audiences they are Indian, of course because we are so, One fifth of the in, yes, you know, so you would get a lot of. Uh, so you can't yes. avoid. But the moment you're doing it in English, it is kind of opening up. No, but uh, so. I didn't want that. I mean, you know, see, I'll tell you, my philosophy was, I don't care about making a lot of money. I don't want to go to a theater where that they're only going to pay me thousands of dollars. I will cut my my cloth as I go along to suit. I just want to get there. 
Right. So if there is a small theater that can only pay me X amount, well, so be it. If there's a big theater that can pay, if Edinburgh pays me nothing, but I get invited to the international, right. I didn't perform at the, you know, I can any, you can go to the Edinburgh. You can of just course, book, yeah. book the, a theater to there the yes, and perform yes, like in Khan. Yes. It's not yes. but yeah. you can book a theater in Khan and you can show your film. Correct. And take your whole cast and crew sure. and put a red carpet and do your. No, you can. Yes, you I, can. I you mean can. it. No, I know about the fringe certainly, yeah. but so yeah. So fringe kabi vesa hai. Right. Ye fringe nahi tha. Ye was an invite to the international yes, festival. Yes. And that's another story because they don't like all these 90 minute plays and so much, you know, sort of uh, text and this and yes. that and all this. is not their style at all. So how they even called us and told us to come with a fully wordy play was itself a big thing. Anyway, I'm saying that the, my thing was, you know, even here, there was a play called Adhya Dhure I did. Yes, yes, I'm aware. Okay, it was a lovely production. And I got a call from a place I've never heard of called uh, Borpat or something, where Seema Biswas comes from in Assam. Huh? And okay. Assam, as you know, is thriving with theatre. Right. Thriving. So, Borpat is a tiny place. I have to tell you the story because it tells you how I work. So, 10,000 people in the whole little, whatever you want to call it, town, big village, whatever. They kept calling, uh, sending messages, emails, blah, 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 blah. They have a festival every year for the last, now 30 years probably, or 35 years, where they go collecting money from each resident in that 10,000 car. Ap ek rupay de de, do rupay, paanch rupay, jo bhi dena hai. Haan, humko festival karna hai. Saal wow. mein ek bar. Wow. Okay, firstly, this, this genesis of this festival only got my heart. Then they do two local productions and they try to save and try to get one, one from, from outside. outside. Right. Okay. They kept calling us about Adhya Dhuri, Adhya Dhuri. I said, Rupali, darling, tell who's my, my mainstay admin head. Please tell them that, you know, they'll have to pay for air tickets. They'll have to pay something to yes. me, for me to pay my crew and all that. I don't want a lot of, I don't want any money. Right. But they must cover, cover my costs. costs. Yes, absolutely. And they must cover airfare. We yes. cannot leg it in a train. We're too yeah. old now, you know. Right. Cut to the chase. They were so keen. They said, okay, we will pay. You know, nice. whatever you require, we will pay. We land up there in Guwahati. They send these ambies, you know, the state government ambies. Nice. We go chuck, 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 chuck. We land up over there. They have saved every buck for make us to make us stay in this guest house. Yeah, we stay in this guest house every night. They say, "What will you have? Ham kya aapke liye cook kare? You know, the mutton ka banana, ye wo, ye wo, and they get little booze and all for all, all the people. We go. We are the opening act. Yeah, the theater takes maybe six hundred, seven hundred. There must have been a thousand people there. It was. Back, back to the rafters. Right. They do a whole aarti, puja, Durga puja. One of the most wonderful audiences I've ever had. Okay? Treated us like kings. Paid us nothing practically. Yeah. Cut to another time when Arundhati Roy's mother was celebrating her 70th or 75th and she said, can you come and perform 150 kilometers uh, out of, uh, sorry, Kochi uh, in a place where the school is that her mother is set up. Right. Yeah. And I told her, don't get any children to see it. A dancer command not meant. And can you imagine in a school, small auditorium, yes. what sort of... I said, fuck, screw all that. I will just, you know, uh, whatever you have. There's no place to cross. You have to go out of the building to cross. To come from okay? the other exit. And we wow, have performed wow. last, let's say, in New Zealand with Sammy in a place where John Cleese performed. Wow. So we go from there to, to here. Yes. That's my mantra. It doesn't matter. matter. It yeah. doesn't matter. And we perform and suddenly we, I look up and there's a balcony and these small eyes are staring at me. There were the children in the watching. first grade watching wow. dance like a man. I wow. said, but why? Why are they here? I said, no, no. Ma'am said that, you know, let all the children come. I said, but oh, they won't understand. Whole play was shh, 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 shh. Because the kids were getting very bored. They were laughing when Joy was clowning around. But otherwise they didn't understand anything. But still, it was so fulfilling. I, I'll never forget these two shows. I mean, yeah, I have wow. many, many, many. Yes, I'm, I'm sure. In factories, we've performed Gandhi's play. You know, in factories, with factory workers sitting on the ground. Hindi mein wo bol rahe the. Puri Sami ki kahani, Mrs. Billa took Adhyam. Yes. Rajshri Billa said, I will do Sami. She supported, you know, she uh, Pratap's play. And she was wonderful, wonderful. And then she said, but there's only one thing. Let's go to all these shows in Hindi and take them to all the factories. 
मैंने कहा जरूर सो यू ट्रांसलेटेड इट वी ट्रांसलेटेड इनटू हिंदी एंड वी टुक इट ऑल अक्रॉस आई थिंक 17 18 फैक्ट्रीज वी परफॉर्म सैमी विद पीपल सिटिंग ऑन द ग्राउंड ईटिंग देयर स्नैक्स वाचिंग सैमी ओपन एयर एवरीथिंग इज फ्लाइंग एंड एवरीथिंग यू नो एंड बट वी डिड इट वी डिड इट एंड आई थॉट इट वाज अ वंडरफुल आईडिया इन फैक्ट आई वुड से यू नो दैट दैट शुड बी अ अ अ सॉर्ट ऑफ टेकन फॉरवर्ड या वेयर वुड फैक्ट्री वर्कर्स सी अ प्ले या She did yeah, it I for know. all. I, I don't know. We could. F- uh, I'm, I'm sure she had many more factories, but I remember 17 shows at least we did for the. And this was her thing that you know. Would you also do it for them? And I said, yeah, of course we'll do it. This, so I mean, I can I can totally see that why the book is warranted. <laughs> the the memoirs. Yeah. The, you have to, and it's got to be a big book. So the so, uh, the so. abroad the thing abroad which I just want to share is so I had no contact, no nothing. So I said, "No." You were reaching much? out cold calls. I just cold turkey started yeah. writing to people, yeah. emailing that, this them. This is so lovely. This is what it is. I would love to do it. I would love. Ninety nine point nine percent had never seen a play from India. They don't know what I was talking about. But the heartening thing was when they saw the work from here. The writing, you know, a, a Mahesh play, a, a Karnad play, a Pratap Sharma play. They, people would have the gall to tell me that. I remember this woman, big company in LA, she said, and she said, "This can't be written by an Indian. This is written by an Indian playwright. It's so sophisticated, it is so complex." And I said, "You know, I don't know if that's an insult or a, a compliment, <laughs> but I take it as a compliment. That of course, it's been written by an Indian. So they've never been exposed. That's I mean, autobiography nice, yeah. is one of the most beautiful plays. It's so so nuanced. It's a Rashomon plus plus. Who's written that? Mahesh Elkunchwar. Okay." So, so, um, and that was another thing to discover this, you know, plethora. I have not started yet. I am just on the tip of the iceberg. Absolutely. So much stuff underneath. I keep telling Marathi actors and actresses, give me, give me some good Marathi plays, Gujarati plays. I want to do them in English. And then everyone started this snooty thing. English, me, why do you do this? You all these natak. आई सेट क्योंकि मैं बाहर विदेश ले जाना चाहती हूँ मेरे पास पैसे नहीं है कि मैं सब टाइटलिंग दिखाती रहूँ उनको हुज गो नो डू द सब टाइटलिंग फॉर मी इफ यू कैन गिव मी इफ यू कॉल मी एंड यू से यू डू सब टाइटलिंग आई डू इट इन हिंदी आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू डू इट इन हिंदी इट्स नॉट दैट आई हैंग अप अबाउट हिंदी बट दिस इज ऑल्सो दिस थिंग ना आई ग्रो अप इन डेली रिमेंबर दिव कर अ बेग चिप ऑन दर शोल्डर अंग्रेजी नाटक अंग्रेजी नाटक यू नो एज इफ लाइक दिस समथिंग सर सेकेंड डिग्री थर्ड डिग्री लोअर टाइप ऑफ कास्ट of 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 work and and we we showed everybody because in the, all the years that we were there the first four years that we performed every year sahitya kala parishad gave us best play for all english, english plays, plays which had which never happened never happened before wow i i wanted to ask of course there was there was a point so in 91 you kind of started prime time and when did the move to bombay happen yeah so uh in 96 we opened dance in 95 Nine, by by the time I came, we had already done thirty shows. Ninety six, Ravi got posted to Bombay. Oh, so the family moved here. So he came to work with Ravi. How did Rata. you feel about that? But I was cool. I mean, I've always okay loved to... Bombay. I'm okay. a Delhi person, and I have a lot of emotional ties with Delhi because right. of family. But I love Bombay. I love the buzz. I love the energy. I love the you know. It's a Delhi's a self start place. You have to be self-motivated right. and all that. The climate is, except NST, uh, there is nothing else. I mean, there are a few other theatre companies, of course. There's Act One, where Piyush Mishra, Piyush did something for me also, one of my plays. It's mostly self-start. Right here, there self-start, but, but the, there is the, an the, yeah, there is a climate yes. that pushes you. Yes. You see work happening. This one's that one, and you know it, it keeps. Like you said, you see Meta's work. What does it do? It ignites. Uh, thoughts ideas you know but did it feel like uh, like you needed to kind of restart when you came here uh, establishing prime time when you came here how easy was that well, well you see uh, as an actor after after uh, cable started yes. i had started doing some um, i was in hamlog uh, just yes. a few episodes of course, of course. Yes. and then um, when when cable started i started i did the first show for z i did the first show for ltv ltv then morphed into ztv right so sanjay is with me a, a, a show called newsline then i did something for z with manohar bhai manohar singh yes. wonderful actor it was a law series two right. rival firms blah blah i was right. one he was one anyway it was a very nice series i think television at that point was much more interesting so because i'd done that i was not 
completely unknown and the theater work had happened for a long, long time, time yeah. and some of it had also happened here so but the, not since the company the TV, since the TV the company, work and all was happening you were not consumed by that you were being never, selective never never so, never never right. see all my life my priorities have been very clear you know theater is there everything else is here yeah because also films and all started yeah. quite late uh, oh, yeah, purely so, accidentally right. purely accidentally but there's always been that that very clear thing in my head that there is no there's no confusion it's never that you know if i take up a project i have to say these are my show dates and i'm afraid these have to be adjusted if i'm unless i'm shooting in south africa or something like right, that right. where i might have to adjust a show date and if it's a project that warrants it otherwise no so my thing was prime time not myself as an actor in fact i got here and alec immediately offered me begum samru so it was not the theatrical thing that was a problem uh, acting thing that was a problem so i said first thing to do is immediately you know uh, uh, get my calling card out there so i'm going to get do dance like a man which is right. my latest production sure. i had opened it just a few months before i came here so i got babu down who's also one of my closest friends got shivani down we did a few shows and i realized it was very impractical but that show already people knew okay this is and i t- spoke to sita and we said very pleasantly and very very happily that we would prime time would then become my product right. my property because it i was going to run it in bombay and she was so. going to she also did a few shows so she called it prime time i called it the prime time theater company so okay. we separated okay. but we used prime time because it was already established it was a brand, yeah. and when i did dance it had a terrific response so you know so at least we got onto the map. theater map yeah, here yeah 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 and then uh i realized kun 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 so got vijay krishna and suchi right and then they just stayed, stayed on and the, on and yeah. on for some 600 shows till vijay couldn't do it anymore uh which i still feel very sad about and then we got anant who was very excited to do it right. and loves the play and is right. wonderful in it as well and so the story goes on and let me give you the epilogue to that that suchitra pilla has decided that the play will never ever stop nice uh, because when i get too ancient she's going to do my role right. and ira's going to do her role and when that those two get very ancient ira will play me and the then. little girls will then take over the other role so, so it's all it's sorted, all sorted then. Next, yeah. i don't know i'll be dead and gone you are witness <laughs> but and my friend lin always says why are you flogging this dead horse as it's not a dead horse is running on its own and galloping i w- one thing that i wanted to ask and and you know because it's also something that we kind of tackle with and you know now uh, i mean correct me if i'm wrong but i do think that like delhi theater is not what it used to be uh and and maybe your departure was the beginning of the downfall <laughs> but but you so. know even for example i feel like nsd perhaps is not mm. what it used to be and you know when i go to delhi and we perform at the habitat we you yeah. know spend time over yeah. there a lot there is a sense that delhi is in a bit of a time warp uh, uh you know uh, for you as an experience because you spend so much time in the delhi theater scene mm. and then of course in the bombay theater scene what are the major differences that you find first first is a na- qu- quantity there is very little theater that happens in delhi Oh very little which is yeah. odd considering very odd, very odd. school is there but because yes, N- no because nst firstly i have one thing about nst even though i have friends there and all that and anuradha kapoor who used to be handling uh, nst i told anu i said why aren't you a crucible for new writing you are only sitting and doing the, all the, the old classics, classics yeah. in hindi are yaar bahut ho gaya al kazi sahab started this thing in the 50s right we are now in the you know 75 years on and you're still doing the same stuff no we do i said who some uh, few gine chune uh, you know sort of indian playwrights that are you know because this is my main uh, grouse right. that we don't have enough writing after all what are you going to do if akash khurana wants to do some great indian plays or exciting new indian plays they have to first be written sure. they're not being written nobody's interested in paying them nobody's getting any royalty from them so you know it doesn't happen that is the beginning of the The, the 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 creativity is the writing anyway so uh, one of the reasons i think is that that they just aren't interested in doing anything so in that new. sense they yeah they're not kind of being progressive yeah, about yeah, that yeah yeah there's nothing yeah, so. they, they should be a crucible of lot of new stuff new happening writing, yes, you know yes, yes. so that's one act one was very very active uh, and did a lot of stuff i think manoj worked with them also um and of course piyush piyush was one of the architects of act 1 and they did some great stuff in the basement of the uh, shri ram center but they were one of the more exciting groups then of course rajat and 
Uh, what's it called? Rajatan Atul, Atul yes. at Chingari. Yes. They did some interesting stuff. But bahut gine chune kam the. First thing I felt when I came to Bombay is Quantity. wow. Okay. Look at the volume of stuff that's happening here. Right. Gujarati, Marathi, Hindi, English. You know, uh, just the volume is huge. You open the paper on 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 yes, a weekend, absolutely. and my God. Plus, compounded with that, concerts, dances, this, that, it's it's high, far more active, far, far, far. More and in terms active. of a work ethic, work ethic, you see, over there, I must say, people like Piyush's group or Chingari, they were very dedicated, hardworking, doing the best they could with the resources they had. So, work ethic was very good. I, I cannot say that. And NSD may. You know they were part of the repertory, so chalo. You know, though There's I have little, to say yeah. some of the one of some of the most brilliant plays I've seen uh, was uh, Ranjit Kapoor is an enormously talented man. Gone to if I'm saying it, oh. you know, on YouTube or on 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 air, silly fellow. He's so <laughs> damn talented. You know, yes. so damn talented. Yes. He directed a play for us. Yes. You know, one of our first half, this Malabail. I got him to direct. Oh, he I did. was okay. in it. Okay, and and I love him. He's very talented, but he's just so lazy. I don't know what he's doing with himself. So, two of the most seminal plays that I've seen, you know, uh, Begum Ka Takia and Mukhya Mantri. Huge, huge books that he yes. made into plays. Yes, yes. T terrific. I mean, I saw Pankaj on stage for the first time and I never forget it. I saw Manohar and Surekha Sikri on the stage and Adi Adhuri for the first time. So, NSD did some great stuff at that time. I don't know now. I have no idea. Yeah, even but I they were know. also the classics. I mean, Mukhya Mantri and, and this one were not. Right. Mukhya Mantri and Begum Ka Takya. Anyone you mention these two plays will say they were outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. And important for me because I was a young person who was just acting and, you know, it, it was to see plays of that caliber was, was something very, very uh, inspiring. Inspiring. And that kind of acting also. I vowed to do Aadhi Adhure the day I saw it when I was 18 with Surya Khan Manohar. I said, what a play. What a script. If I ever do a Hindi play, this is mine. My first nice. play. So, you know, these are the influences. Was that the first Hindi play you did? That was the only Hindi play I've done. That's the only oh, Hindi okay. play I've done. Okay. I want okay. to do more. Okay. But that's the only one. Because every time, see, Aadhi got pushed back because it couldn't travel the same way because it was in Hindi. They would keep saying, Aapka tell me which is your English play. I mean, we'd love a Hindi play. Yes. It did a few places. It went to a couple of places, but couldn't travel much. Anyway, so that's how I came here. Started theatre with prime time over here. And <laughs> a few years into coming here, uh, it was very funny. It's a well-known story. But anyway, I came to know from Rajit, in fact, uh, that I'm doing a wonderful role in Mr. Benegal's film. And then I met Shama Zaidi at Muzaffar Ali's house and he, she said, you're doing this lovely role of Auntie Rose. Then I met the third person and I said, but I don't know anything about this role. So they said, but don't you know? It's, it's been written and you're cast in it. So I pick up the phone and I say, Sham Babu, I am so embarrassed. Because, because the, world is the whole talking world is it. telling me. Yeah, said, so of course you're doing it, darling. I said, but one slight problem you haven't told me. He said, haven't I? Come to the office right now. And that's how my film career started. This is Zubeda. Zubeda. Right, right. Before that, I had shot for something with Aarti and Kailash, which unfortunately never got released. One producer outside walked out or something. And I did a movie which came later called Bhavandar for Jagmohan Mundra. Yes. Uh, with Nandita. But it uh, came out later. And then that happened, Gadar happened, Monsoon Wedding happened. It just started just rolling on its own. I had no secretary, no manager, no nothing. People would just call and I would say, okay, have I got the time? Yeah, I think shows are not happening. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do <laughs> you it. Know? Nice. it was, it's all, it's something I love and I enjoy thoroughly. But it's a parallel activity as, at best, you know, at best. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I have three films coming out. I have at least three series coming out. I'm going to shoot for something else. And I love it. I'm, I'm no, see, I, the way I look at it is, it's still part of my my craft, my world, it taught me a lot acting on, on screen. You know, it was a huge learning to pull back, back, right, back, back, right. back, back, back. Particularly since there was yeah, so much of Yeah, because we had yes, worked so. the other way. You know, yes, it was all absolutely. about projection. It all became so internalized. Less, 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 less. And especially working abroad, though, opened my eyes. Yeah. You know, I worked in BBC, Channel 4, films, Canada, Canadian films, South African films, all kinds. Of, you know, there's another world of mine that yes. has nothing to do with theatre. 
And I learned that it's just here. Right. You have to do very little. Yeah, which is such. A, I think it, this is the, the a lot of actors struggle with this, you know, because when they when come they from come one from medium to the other, especially it's this and way. And you know, the other way also. Other way also. Like also. You, yeah, it's just yeah, a, yeah. It's just you. Yeah, you, they you think they're of, they're performing. It's relearning. <laughs> yeah, so it's relearning. Saying, yeah. And I love that. Yeah. That is one thing I love. I want to do things constantly, which where I challenge myself. Take on a project which is <gasps> too huge. I'm going back to reviving my Jaya. Yes, the Mahabharat yes, something. I'm yes, I've gone back to yes, it after wow. 24 years. Wow. And I'm remounting the whole thing. New You've done it earlier. Sound. Of course, I did 40 shows. But you're doing a larger scale version of it now. No, it was large. It was yeah. over 10,000 square feet, 45 feet up. No one's done a production like that. Open air. Where, where did you do this? I did that in Bandra Reclamation. Oh, wow. 1,500 seats at 1,500 apiece 25 years ago. House full, 40 shows. Wow. So, so I'm going back to that. That's amazing. And and I am going to age terribly because I aged two years <laughs> when I did that play. But I'm so, so excited to see how I'm going to do it again myself. Um, and I want to at some point do a play where I have to sing. I had learned singing long back. No, oh, I nice. want to do things that, that you know, that that challenge me. Correct. What's the criteria for selection? Because like, yes, you did Osage in the middle and you know, there's... And uh, I've done nine parts. Nine parts of Desire, which uh, Ira and I spoke at length about. And and so there's there's this nice kind of mix that happens. And so what is the process of selection? And also, how important is the messaging of the play to you? Is that something that you look for? Would you be open to doing a comedy that means nothing? Uh, but how do you select? Okay, very quickly... I have a very simple mantra. The play has to say, like Alice saw a bottle that said, drink me. It has to say, do me. Do me. That's okay. it. It is a very personal thing. Right. That's why it's so eclectic. It will right. go from Zen Katha, which is about Zen Buddhism. Yes. To all the way to Gohar, which is about a classical singer. To a Devi Karani, which yes. is said in the film world. Uh, to, let's say, a dance, which is about... Classical music to 30 Days, which is about sexual abuse, yes. to Sammy and it's Gandhi's philosophy. So you can see how wide the thing is. Hopefully it shows my mind. Right. That I can find a lot can of cover, things appealing. Yeah, yeah. And I think a director's thing is to just go with material that resonates with them. That's all it is, whether it's funny, whether it's this. Why? People say, Are, you're doing Twinkle's play. I mean, it's you know, one big yes, uh, yes. Uh, critic came and asked me, it's just too fluffy what she meant was. I said, but why? I lost my husband. It's about a widow in her 60s, you know, and uh, maybe it appealed to me. It's funny. She's sharp. She's funny. And it's romantic and uh, it's moving. It's emotional. It resonates. So it's yeah. not heavy. So what? Yeah. So what? So it doesn't have those kind of deep plumbing depths. It's okay. It appealed to me at a certain point and I wanted to do it. And it's very successful. So there are different audiences for different people. And you all, every, all of us have our own, hopefully, brands. People come to see your work because it's of a certain type, a certain quality. And I don't want to be categorized, as I didn't want in cinema. After Zubeda, I got a slew of offers by Kanti Rose. Up yeah. nahi, uh, Aruna Irani ban jayengi, up ye ban jayengi. I said, Mujhe Aruna Irani bahut pasand hai, but main kisi ke jaisa nahi banna chahti. If anyone ever asked me, you know, who's your role model? I said, nobody. I admire Akash's ex-quality. I admire Teresa's, you know, sort of empathy. I admire Emma Thompson's craft. I admire zillions of qualities about zillions of people, but yeah. I don't want to be nobody. No, yeah, I want to be myself. Good, bad, ugly, that's me. Now I'm going to do a couple of one-line answer. It's called rapid fire. I kind of call it slow burn because hmm. uh, that's me. But uh, uh, yeah, so just quick answers, whatever, whatever comes to your mind first. The best piece of advice you ever received about acting? For me, my mentor guru has always been Barry John because his approach was just be. Right. You have to just be. All this performing, acting and all that. Whatever you do, whatever your process is, you put it all inside you, you. The background, the this, the character, the blah, the blue, the relationships, all that homework that we discuss when we're doing right. text work. Right. All that is wonderful. Do it, absorb it, osmosis, then you have to just be. be. I know Ira, of course, went into it full time and Neha was also acting for a while and then, of course, other decisions. But when you knew that my daughters are going to, you know, take the legacy forward... What was the one advice that you gave them moving forward? 
Well, Neha did it never very seriously, honestly. You know, I mean, she did it for fun. Yeah. Monsoon happened. What do you say to Ida when you know she's going to so, make a career out of it? So. Well, I just said that. Listen, this is a very bumpy, uh, rocky path. Yeah. So you have to you have to really have so much fuel inside you that's going to keep you going. That's not going to get you down. And in this day and age, the way they work, the rejections, and I was thoroughly spoiled. You know, I just got everything I wanted to do. <laughs> so you have to be very strong mentally, I think, to be an actor before anything else. You have to have that determination that you're going to just keep going. The talent is God given. I mean, you have it, you have it. But this is in your control. Can you just keep going? Do you have that in you to keep going? What is a performance of yours that you are most proud of? I, and like it may I not said, have been a successful one, but what was it where you really kind of look back and say that that's the closest you got to nailing it? Um, or is that every performance? So. Not at all, not at all, not at all, so, not at which all. The, which I which you have the least complaints with? So, <laughs> so. I, I can't, you know, one thing is on in theatre, it's very difficult to judge yourself. Right. In cinema, you can because right. you see no, it. No, but as, a, as an actor, when you feel that, you know, I'm doing full justice. I, I, I can't say that. It's a hard I can't, It's very hard for me to say. I feel like I could do everything that better. degree better. You know, when you get older, it's the memories of what gave you joy what, yeah, to create. The process was, yeah. Not just the process. The journey is as yeah. important as the product. Yeah. I mean, I love performing Violet and Osage. I love performing. Right. You know, they're roles which I've really Given I enjoyed playing Lady Macbeth in my first version of right. it because it was a Macbeth. It was a very different version. It was a Charles Marowitz version and a very exciting production. And it was my first Shakespeare play. So nice. it's special. Dance nice. is special for other reasons. Other reasons yeah. So it's, it's so many different things, you know, but I still feel I have to do that role which will really, really. suck everything out of me. That hasn't happened yet. I don't think any theatre journey is is complete without a bunch of mishaps. Zillions. Uh, what's a memorable mishap that you tell? What's your, oh. the, the, the you know, the party trick? <laughs> the, the one. No, we all no, have this one. This mishap we is as a director, <laughs> producer. It is not as an actor. What is that? And it was horrid. Uh, I did a play called Me and My Girl. Okay, my first musical. Right. This was also not an Indian one. Right. It was in the early days of This Dad. is prime time. Prime time. Right. This is prime time. In Delhi, our first musical, nine set changes, uh, some 10, 12 songs, dances. So we're doing this first run, Kamani Auditorium, 10 shows, back to back, double shows on weekend, da -da -do 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 -do. Sure. and this is the penultimate show, okay? Sunday night, 7 o'clock show. And the night before, since it was a Saturday night, we had all partied. And people had smoked and people had had drinks and this and that. And the girl who was the main lead had slept at some three o'clock. I kept trying to push her away and said, go and sleep, go and sleep. And her voice was already like a little hoarse and all that. Anyway, cut to the chase. Next day, we land up at the theatre. I called them at whatever time, 4, 4.30 something. Because they'd slept late and we, this was you know, just a quick rehearsal and things. And we had a pit with a full orchestra. And at five o'clock, this girl has still not come. And uh, there are people standing in line for returns or black tickets or whatever. And there's no sign of this girl. So n no mobiles, no nothing. So how do we call her? So we start calling her house. Where is she? Where is she? Where? And her aunt was also helping in the box office right. or something. So yeah. we start calling her, calling her, calling her. Uh, no one's picking up the phone at all. Finally, the father picks up. Father is one of those very well-to-do polo playing types, you know. <laughs> okay. <Achha>? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sunday afternoon, having his whatever <laughs> beer, drink. And he picks up and says, yes, hello. So, so you know, <laughs> where is, uh, what her what, what's her name? So, oh, uh, she's not well. She's not feeling well. I said, uh, I don't know who had called first. I didn't call some AD call. Uh, so, but, you know, this is a show at seven and this and that. Uh, won't be able to make it. What? <laughs> what are you talking? She has to come. Right. Says, no, 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 no. She's really not up to it. She won't be able to make it today. Tom, put the phone down. We're all in a panic. panic. Meantime, aunt comes and aunt says, hi, very cheerfully, cheerfully, as if nothing had happened. You know, going off to the box office to man what? <laughs> so what show? So I'm be asking her, where is she? So she says, oh, you know, she's lost her voice. She won't be able to make it today. I said, are you serious? <laughs> so I don't care what? if she can't yeah. speak. Yeah. Give me her body. I just want her body. I will work it out. You know, how she's going to do this show. 
No, no. She won't be able to come. She can't speak. She's lost her voice. <laughs> okay, very calmly. The scary thing was the, the calmness with which she was speaking. So Sita comes to me, absolutely, you know, <laughs> devastated, and says, what are we going to do? In the meantime, all the whole cast is jumping, saying, Lila, you have to do the role. You have to do I said, it is 5.40 or 5.30. Do you think I can sing right. eight, some eight, seven songs, learn all the choreography, and I'm going to make an ass of the audience, you know, trying to even do it, right. and know all these lines. Okay, I know some of the lines, obviously, but I, I, I can't get onto stage in an hour. I mean, I have my limitations. So I'm telling you how we work in theatre, Akash. It's frightening. Right. So anyway, now I'll cut to the chase. I send off Sita in a car. Rush. She stays way off in Defence Colony. And uh, I said that, you know, guys, uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I said, worst comes to worst, we'll cancel the show. What else can we do? Right. What else can we do? Let's just calm down. Right. So she goes, she comes back. Yeah. And uh, I still remember down the corridor. Like, she's not here and she's not coming. It's like 6.45. Okay, so I said, okay, Sita, got to cancel, cancel the show. The show. There's yeah. nothing we can do. So we go, we sort of plot and conspire behind. And I said, you know, we can't say that she's lost her voice and come. We'll just have to say she's had a mishap and right. you know, whatever, sure. whatever. And Sita's a wonderful actress. So very dramatically opens the curtains, goes out completely like tearful voice breaking and says we have terrible news etc 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 and this has happened in some accident and you know we are very very sorry but there's no way the show can happen and everyone says oh no and all this and we are giving full refunds tomorrow right. and in some mad fit I say that two weekends later we're opening the show and next day Times of India Sunday Times you know people kill to get a, a, a sort of a coverage that, like that Second story, after whatever, whatever, the political story, this big, when my girl gave me the ditch. Because everyone who had come said, you know, oh, the show should have gone on. How can you close the show? I mean, some people. And some people said, of course, what could you do? See, people knew probably, but because of that, my next six shows were houseful. This is not a mishap. <laughs> this is this is the best no, publicity. It was a mishap, this is, yeah. is the best publicity I you could possibly so get. Embarrassed. Wow. An Indian play, which is not yours, hmm. that you watched and blew you away. If there is any, you can say nothing worked. No, but no, no. So, many so, many so. plays that... Uh, in but Hindi, one that you particularly Hindi, remember. In Hindi, very recently, I told you, Adhya Dhure, of course, uh, was like, and Pankaj, uh, uh, this one, Begum Kathakya, Mukhya Mantri, many plays. But in more recent plays. times, perhaps? More recent times, I really liked uh, this... Um, I like him very much, uh, Abhishek, as a writer. Abhishek Majumdar, Majumdar. Yes. I think he writes very strong plays. Uh, this one, yeah. Muktidan. Muktidan. Yes, Muktidan. Yes, yes, Muktidan. Yes, 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 yes. Muktidan, yes. recent times. Yes. I love the script. I love the script. Right. I love some of the performances. You know, not across the board the same level, but I loved Kumod in it. Yes. I love the script. I was You're talking about a, a, yes, a, a yes, content. Absolutely. I thought it was a really, really intelligent script. Yeah, no, Abhishek's a wonderful. I mean, I, I comedy is among my favorites. I don't know if you've comedy seen Comedy also, that, so I, yeah, loved. But yeah, I love. I so. love comedy, but I don't know, Mukti Dham in these times again. Made, yes. About a, Hinduism, about yes. Buddhism, you know, there's lots of stuff out there. Yes, yes. Which I loved. Yeah. I just love. To me, that's also very relevant. You like that one because it's set in our world. So, wow, that was I. You know, I'd love to go on, and there's <laughs> there's, there's there's so much more we could have got, and we'll uh, maybe you know. No, no. We'll wait for the problem the book. with we'll me. I book. can never go <laughs> halfway. <laughs> yeah. I can never give no, no, no. one word. I'm waiting answers. for the book, and then we'll have you back for another session. I think. But, Lovely. Uh, but thank you so much. This was no. so good having you here, and no, it was, I enjoyed it. It's the least I've spoken in any of my episodes because really? I was listening. <laughs> Which is a great sign. I don't know whether to take it's that. It's a great as a sign. It's a great sign. I was. I didn't need to kind of do any, you know, goading or you know any of that. It was. Yeah. It was just wonderful. And it was. I was. I was an audience, and I was engaged and entertained, and I have a take home. So <laughs> okay, lovely. Thank you so lovely. much. Hi, this is Lila Dubey, and I just had the most fun doing a podcast for Adhyam with my old friend Akash Kurana. It's on theatre and a lot of other things. You can uh, hear it on binge pods. You can hear it on Spotify. You can hear it on Apple Podcasts. So I hope you get a chance to hear it.